Let's stand. We're going to salute the judge first. You ready? And go jump up. Many people wouldn't even think for Macy to be a gymnast. And so uh, for us to be able to put her in a situation that many people wouldn't think she would even be capable of doing and put her in a situation where she is capable of uh, doing something and not presuming that she's, she's not able to do something. You know, it gives her the confidence and the self-esteem that's important for her to be a person. Lift your knees up, Macy. So show how strong you are. Lift your knees up. Macy does the gymnastics program, Special Olympics. She's been doing it since she was about seven, and she's almost 11. She's globally developmentally delayed, so she has a lot of motor planning issues, and gymnastics has really helped with that. It's kind of like therapy, um, but with peers and other kids, just having fun. So she does Special Olympics, and she can do every event independently for the most part, except for balance beam. This one was entirely her on her. She had to be helped. And we came up, we were tasked with coming up with an idea that would uh, help her do this independently. We came up with a, a walker because it was simple and we could build it because there's ideas we had to hang above her, beside her, all kinds of different things. But a walker is something she's actually used in the past. And when we heard that, we thought she would maybe be able to do this a lot easier. Good job. Just seeing how much Macy loves it, I know when we came the first time, it was, it was a question of whether or not the walker was going to work on the mats and if it was going to slip away from her or if she just wasn't going to like it. And so when she, she got the walker and she said that she loved it, that was just immediately all the work we'd done was so much worth it. I came to Texas for rice and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made because Rice turned out to be a community that was so loving and so, you know, like willing to volunteer and help so many other people. And then, you know, I come to a class where I'm engineering and I'm just like, well, this is what I really like to do. I love engineering, you know. And then we come and we are pitched a project where it's, hey, let's help out with this community that needs this, you know, we, they need the help. I'm learning a lot. I didn't really know that what I want to do with my life. I really like science and math, and um, I would, thought engineering might be something that's interesting to do, but I wasn't really sure, so this class is letting me see like what I can do when I try to make something or when I work with a team and how like I can help people. The world is not set up for her to do things, a lot of things all by herself. Even shutting a car door can be difficult for her sometimes just because of the weight of it and her strength. So for her to be able to get on the beam and do it without someone holding her hand, just so she can be independent. She doesn't have to have an adult with her. Oh, I got teary-eyed because at first it was a little bit difficult for her, but then she just took right to it. Awesome, arms up, <laughs> good job. <laughs> what do you think of your team that built this for you? Are you pretty happy? Mm-hmm. Will it, what, will it, what will it do for you? Help me walk. Yeah, and you like to walk by yourself, right? Are you pretty happy with your team? Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your team? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good